Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be building in Sulani. We're building this beach house which is very heavily inspired by an older set of Philexanders which is called Grove and I don't know that I've built with this set specifically before. I think I tried a while ago in Tartosa to build like a little Mediterranean house and the idea for that one was going to be there was like a family and then there was a kind of separate house, a smaller house for like the grandparents to live in and I just really didn't end up liking that one and I haven't really returned to the set since but now that the weather is warmer especially here where I live we've had like a crazy heat wave the last week and it's finally cooled off but yeah I've just been kind of inspired to build something kind of tropical or summer themed I guess so we ended up with this little Mediterranean beach house which I really think is cute and you'll see I spent a lot of time fidgeting with this one because I decided to had a lot of stairs to this build on the exterior and I was inspired by a photo that I found on Pinterest. I believe it was a little kind of Mediterranean style house that I, that I inspired this off of but I just kind of liked it. It was kind of built into rocks which I don't think I used a ton of rocks in the landscaping for this one but I just thought it was really cute and I wanted to build something kind of small that had three levels and had a lot of decks because if you guys don't know I mean Sulani is a world that we've had for a really long time you can build out on the water and I feel like I need to take advantage of that every single time I build on a water lot by adding like all these really nice decks and stuff and I did kind of multi-level decks so they're all kind of at different levels by the way if you guys hear any like creaks or like weird noises we have a little recording friend with us today my little dog he's on the bed with me so he's kind of been moving around it's still kind of early in the day so he's just trying to figure out where he wants to settle down I guess but just in case you hear any noises hopefully he won't bark or anything sometimes he does that because when I record it has to be so quiet and he's actually listening for things right now so <laughs> but it has to be so quiet that he hears every little sound so we live in an apartment so people are like going to work and stuff and you can hear people above us and next door and stuff so he's always barky in the morning and I'm just hoping he's gonna be good sometimes I have to lock him out of the room because I just don't trust him and then he starts crying at the door and I feel awful so today we're just we're seeing it's kind of a test run to see how well he behaves Oh yeah, so besides um, the Grove set, I also used the Coastal set by Hey Harry, the windows. I decided, based off of the photo, um, I don't think it really had these orange tones to it, but it definitely had blue windows and doors, and I thought that was kind of fun. I don't often do colored windows, because I find it, or doors, I guess, because I find it really hard to then include that in the interior, because obviously those colors are not just showing on the exterior they're also going to be inside when you get into the interior so this one kind of worked because I kept the same color scheme as the exterior and I feel like it turned out really nice so I did try to make this slightly overgrown I didn't want to go super crazy but I find it hard to landscape these lots and I think that's why I don't build in Sulani a lot because it is hard to landscape water. <laughs> I just added a bunch of palm trees and I think I added rocks and like these little bushes that are also from the grove set and maybe uh, some of the like monsteras and stuff that are in um, live edit or debug. No it's live edit. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah I I do like using the tropical plants and I feel like I don't get to use them very often because I rarely build in these more tropical worlds. It just doesn't happen. I've literally never in my entire career as a builder on YouTube built in Selva Dorada, which is the world that came with Jungle Adventure and I think a big reason that I haven't is because it's a vacation world and let's be honest, the vacation worlds are not the best worlds in The Sims 4 for playability like 
I really wish they would make some kind of update so that they could be livable as well. I feel like I'd use them so much more if they were. But, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, we're landscaping now and then I add a ton of furniture. A lot of seating because, I mean, it's a beautiful world. You're definitely going to want to spend time outside. Your sims will love that. So I definitely added some stuff to do outside. I think I added one of the canoes as well and some floaties in the water. Um, I couldn't add the jet ski because I couldn't fit it. So we have this little bar and grill and there's a dining table. There's also loungers and just, yeah, some seating and it looks honestly really nice. And I would love to spend time in a place like this, even though the ocean kind of scares me a little bit. So yeah, now we're moved on to the interior. So... This is a two bedroom house. It's also a two bath house. So there's the parents room and then there's a child's bedroom as well. I tried to keep the interior kind of simple because the rooms are very small. But as you all know, I love to clutter up things and add some personality to my builds. So of course, when I wanted to go a little bit like cleaner in this build, it ended up still being super, super cluttered. I'm sorry, I'm kind of yawning. I feel like I just woke up recently and yeah, so sorry. I'll try not to do that again. But yeah, so we have this little powder room and then there, like I said, there is another bathroom. There's also a dining room, living room, kitchen, and an office on the third floor, just like a little office. Originally, I think I wanted that to be like an art studio and then I changed my mind because I feel like I do that often. You'll see I'm doing another custom TV here um, because I really like these TVs that are kind of like picture frames. They just blend in way more nicely than the kind of black screen TVs in the game, at least in real life. It, it doesn't bother me as much to have like a TV in a room, but in the game it does. So I put this little piece of wood from, I want to say Feyun, the Felix set. Um, to kind of create a little arm for the TV so that it looks like it's sitting on that little table and not just like on the window, which I have done in the past and sometimes it doesn't look weird, but in this situation it looked a bit weird. So I decided against doing that. Uh, you will notice that I did go in and add a couple more windows to this build just because I was struggling a lot with the amount of walls I had. I didn't want to add too many bookshelves and just shelves in general in this build so I tried to add more windows again you have beautiful views of the ocean and stuff in this world so why not add more windows so that you can see it pretty much in every room in the house so this is the kitchen that we're working on here it's quite a small kitchen I did manage to fit this little island I believe that's from Charlie Pancakes is a munch from Charlie Pancakes? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, I just added that one because it kind of matched the counters and it was very like more of an airy looking island that had just space underneath it so it didn't look too cramped. So yeah, this is one of the rooms I added way more windows to, the dining room, just because again, I didn't want to add a bunch of shelves. I did add a little cabinet for some extra kitchen clutter and then this little bookshelf in the end because I just felt like I needed to add something to this room. And yeah, something else you'll notice about this house is I added a lot of plants, especially hanging plants. I think it just makes sense because... Again, this is kind of a more tropical world and it makes sense to add a lot of plants just to kind of pull that theme together, I guess. So this is the kids' room. This one is really cute. I love all the blue in here. I did add little touches of blue throughout the house, but this room definitely has the most blue, I would say. Um, I really love that dresser, by the way. It's from Pierre Sims' new Stefan set, I really think. These are very versatile dressers. Again, I just, I think he is my favorite creator just because every single set he makes, I feel like everything has at least one item that's versatile and it's not like set specific so that you can use it throughout a bunch of different styles and it doesn't look strange. And I love that because oh, I find it so hard sometimes to make more of a variety of my styles for like especially like interiors. 
I don't know why it's just I feel like I'm lacking certain things and I feel like Peter Sim always kind of comes through with that and yeah he just gives me the pieces that I need all the time he's a great creator um so this is the other bathroom it's a quite a large bathroom I feel like I do this a lot to myself for one room in a house will just be way way bigger than it needs to be but at that point there's no way to make it smaller without making things weird so I try my best so yeah we're coming up to the end of this build you guys this is just the hallway and then there's the office upstairs so I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video that really means a lot to me if you like the video don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you aren't if you want to download this bill, it's on the gallery at Lindsay Builds, and the tray files will also be in the description, which takes you to my Patreon, where all the CC is listed, and if you'd like to support the channel, you can also do that while you're there. That's very much appreciated. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!